we're going to work on subtracting real numbers using your operations with positive and negative integers foldable. When I subtract real numbers, I can think of the minus sign and the key word that it represents the answer to a subtraction problem is difference. All right. When I complete a subtraction problem using positives and negatives, the idea is to rewrite that as an addition problem. Steps to rewriting this as an addition problem are, mm, there should be a step zero. Keep the first term the same. I didn't include that originally because you don't change anything, right? But that's a really important step. Keep the first term the same. Then change the minus sign to a plus sign. After that, change the sign of the number being subtracted. Once you've done that, you can refer to the adding real numbers strategies. So if we're subtracting, what you'll do is you'll follow these subtraction steps and then jump right over here to figure out the rest of the steps. All right, so let's go through some examples. Is negative eight minus negative two? So negative eight, I'm gonna keep that one the same. Minus, I'm going to change to a plus, and then negative two, I'm gonna take the opposite of that, or in other words, change to the sign of the number being subtracted. So I'm gonna write opposite, so I remember. When I rewrite my problem, I'm going to keep my first term, so negative eight stays the same. I'm going to change the minus sign to a plus sign, so change it from subtraction to addition, and then take the opposite of the second term. So in other words, change the sign of the number being subtracted. Negative eight minus negative two becomes negative eight plus two. At this point, I can follow the steps in the addition section of my foldable. I can think of negative eight minus negative two in a couple ways. Here's negative eight. Minus negative two means take away two negatives. What's left is six negatives. Another way to think of this would be to think of changing the problem to negative eight plus two. When I add two positives in, our opposites cancel out. And once again, I am left with six negatives. Negative eight plus two equals negative six. Let's practice another problem. Next one is four minus seven. Once again, I'll keep the first term, just like it says in step zero. Then I'll change it from subtraction to addition. And last but not least, I'll take the opposite of the second term, or in other words, I will change the sign of the number being subtracted. So this changes four minus seven into, keep the four, change it from subtraction to addition, and take the opposite of the second term. So change it to minus seven. So four minus seven becomes four plus negative seven. I can think of four minus seven in a couple ways. One way would be to start by thinking of four plus negative seven. One, two, three, four, and then add seven negatives. The opposites cancel out 
and I'm left with three negatives. Another way that I could think of this would be to start with positive four and to think of taking away seven positives. Take away one, two, three, four. There aren't any more to take away. So when I do that, it's like I take away a positive, take away a positive, take away a positive, and I essentially add negative three. Four plus negative seven equals negative three. In summary, if you're subtracting real numbers, rewrite your problem as an addition problem by keeping the first term the same, changing the minus sign to a plus sign, and then changing the sign of the number being subtracted. After that, you could use a number line, yellow and red counting circles, or your strategies for adding real numbers.